Good day from the San Diego Zoo. It's been quite some time since I've been here, back when it reopened earlier this year. Uh, definitely want to see if there's anything new, if anything's changed, and get something to eat while we're at it. Looks like they've changed this entrance up just a little bit since last time. I remember we entered like over here. Now they've made it a little bit bigger. Definitely no line today, which is good. Now there was one day I tried coming a few weeks ago on a weekend, and it was so packed this line was completely full. There was barely any parking, so I didn't even bother coming in. So keep that in mind, the weekends are very busy. I'm seeing a lot more of these signs out than I did the first day. Guessing they're having issues with people wearing masks. It looks like they have a new lounge called the Busy Bee Oasis Lounge. Uh, I know this because as I came in for the questioning, they actually gave a free soft serve and a sugar cone coupon. So that's pretty neat. Now the entry process is the same as it has been. There's still no temperature check. It's just a questionnaire and that's basically it. All right, good to be back finally. The weather's actually perfect today for this. Kind of funny they have a high touch point sign here for the lion. I really do like these fancy screens they added not too long ago. Walking inside, the crowds are pretty light today. Now the bus tour is still closed, along with the Sky Fari, which takes you to the other end of the park. Basically the only two rides they have here. Uh, not open, don't know when they're opening. Here's another sign for the Busy Bee Cafe. I feel like so far I've seen more signs for the Busy Bee Cafe they just opened than I see for the Rise of the Resistance boarding groups being full, which is kind of hard to believe, but there's tons of those signs here. Let's go check out the Children's Zoo construction update. Now you'll see they've really opened up this area back here. When I came last time, this whole area was walled off. You couldn't go anywhere back here. And this is open too. Now it looks like that's actually where the Busy Bee Cafe is, seeing as the sign's pointing to the left. It's just quite nice back here. And it's a little odd that you have all of this outdoor seating out here. And there's the Sky Fari station, so I'm not really sure how that's going to work, especially if they have like a long queue going on. This is nice back here. They have like an animal stage. I like the wall. Different types of greenery. Now we just came from over here, but look how big this courtyard is. This is huge, and I bet it'll look really cool at night with all these lights lit up. The Busy Bee Cafe just opened and it's back in that corner. Now here is the Busy Bee Cafe. Hard to see from here, but it looks really nice inside and obviously new because they just opened it. And the lounge is over on this side. And this is actually the Sky Fari Station. So it's split up into two sections. You've got the lounge and then the cafe and the whole eating area was back there. Here's a quick overview inside. You'll see they have their distance markers. What I like is they sell a whole bunch of honey products all on the shelf. Wow, a lot of this stuff looks really good. Got some habanero infused honey. Combo pack. Lemon honey sticks. Wow. My camera can't zoom, so I don't know how well this menu's turning out. Take a look at these desserts they have here. Look at that. I guess it's like a honey cinnamon roll. Look at those cookies. They're like green. We have China mist tea, so it's gonna be a good day. So I ordered the jumbo hot dog, but they handed me the box and said corn dog. I double checked my receipt, and I guess they got corn dog instead of hot dog, but whatever. $13.99, pretty expensive. So let's see what we're getting. Well, definitely a fresh battered corn dog. It's pretty thick too. Now I am pretty excited because they already gave you the sauce and everything. I did forget napkins, so this might be messy. Try a regular fry. That's a really good shoestring fry, actually. It's cooked just right. The zoo does not have the best food by any means. Um, this, the zoo has actually a lot of my least favorite food, except for Albert's, which is outstanding. But this is a new restaurant. I wanted to check it out and see what it's all about. All right, now for a bite of this massive corn dog. Um, they give you a, like a spicy brown mustard and then this sauce. I'm not sure what it is. Probably for the fries, but we'll... Uh, Try the best I can here. Hmm. That's actually, it's really soft. It's really good. I like it and it goes good with the mustard too. Well, this corn dog is really good. Disney, Disneyland has like the standard for comparing corn dogs. Um, this one's not as good as Disneyland's. However, it is good in its own right. It just tastes a little bit different which is fine, it's obviously fresh, took a while for them to make, but I like it a lot. 
so far this uh, Bumblebee, whatever it's called, Bee, Bee Cafe. Overall, Busy Bee was pretty good. Uh, I didn't mean to get a corn dog. I wanted to get a hot dog, but I was on the fence between the two anyway. The best part was the fries with the white sauce. I still don't even know what that white sauce was, but I liked it a lot. So would I come back here? Not to get a corn dog, but I would come back to get something with the fries. So great to have a new addition here at the San Diego Zoo. Here's a view from the table. You can see plenty of open space out here. It is a really nice area back here. Walking out looking at all these animals, I thought they were all pretty cool, but this one for some reason just hit me in like the nostalgia. Wasn't there like a children's book that had a grasshopper or butterfly in that same exact art style? I, I feel like there was. This is kind of cool and I wish more parks did it. At this signpost, there's a sign saying no restrooms beyond this point. Kind of helpful. I must say entering the forest is one of my favorite parts of the San Diego Zoo. Well, this is cool. Hidden rock door. I wonder if there's like the entrance to a secret temple in there or something. That would be fitting. He's so tiny. Entering the Parker Aviary, which is the smallest one. I do like how they do the double doors. Just kick through one, kick through another, and you're in with the birds. Seems like this is the busy corner here. I see one, two, three, four toucans. There's a lot. I do think it'd be fun someday to come in here and try to find every species of bird they have in each aviary. I feel like there's not a lot of the blue crown hanging parrots in here today. Known to occasionally hang upside down. I've yet to see it happen though. Let's go ahead and cross the bridge to the other side of the zoo. It's kind of funny to see how empty that restaurant is down there. I remember on reopening day that place was packed. The line was going all the way up to the road. Probably hard to see because all the scrim is green, but it looks like Albert's is still being renovated over on the treetops. I know we're at the zoo and I feel like I just keep talking about food, but I forgot to mention I got a pineapple soft serve over at the uh, Busy Bee Cafe with the free ticket. Um, I wasn't really a fan though. I should have known because I'm not a fan of Dole Whip, as weird as that sounds. But if you love Dole Whip, you'll love the pineapple soft serve. Let's take a look in the pollinator garden. Bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. Doesn't look like there's a lot of action going on today. But take a look inside this greenhouse. We've got a lot of plants in here. I should point out the 40 theaters are also not operating currently, along with the buses in the Sky Fari. Well, that bus is operating, but not for guests to use though. Part of the reason all the rides or attractions, shows are closed is just that's the way California is right now. Um, some parks have got around it. The zoo was the first to open, but not Berry Farm decided to open the entire park and have a food festival with it. They just didn't have the rides open. Uh, great idea. I've been hoping SeaWorld would do the same because that's my favorite local park. Well, guess what they just announced? They're going to open SeaWorld as a zoo day pass with a food festival. So I'm definitely excited to check that out. Looks like they're doing some work on the opposite end of Sky Fari as well. I'm playing it smart this time though. I went across the bridge so I can take this huge long path downhill instead of going up it. Pretty hard to believe how tall these things can get too hot for the polar bears they're hiding out in the back I don't know if they do it anymore but it's really cool because the polar bear used to come here to this cage they'd open the glass and it would actually move forward and they'd feed it through here so you get a real close look I always thought this was fascinating because in the Arctic area as you're walking towards the exit if you look down by this road they have a few exhibits of birds and signs too I don't know if you can actually walk down there though so maybe it's just for the bus tour not too sure there is a sea eagle reading up on it here it says the wingspan can be up to eight feet that is a huge bird it's probably hard to tell but it's big there's a condor hiding up in that cave wonder if he's gonna come out it's like he's finally coming out of the cave and he's back in these are great this one's like a little house look at that guy's face Heading back into the shade. I feel like most animals are doing that today. It is quite warm out. Hey, little buddy. He's doing like a little wiggle. He's just wiggling. Red panda's just hanging up in the tree. I'm not sure what he's doing. Last time the red panda was hanging out over here. Today he's on the other side, but it looks like that's open and he can just 
go on whichever side he would rather be on. Kind of weird they have this place in the China section. And it serves classic Chinese cuisine such as popcorn, corn dogs, and snacks. I wonder if it's the same type of hand-dipped corn dog over at the Busy Bee because the picture just looks like a generic corn dog. Quite busy in the aquarium today. And I don't even see any penguins. Just it's a pretty big group over there, but all of the penguins are out of the water, which is kind of weird. They're just hanging out in the shade. Let's go to the waterfall. I've never really noticed it looking here, but at the top of the waterfall, it almost looks like there's like a fence or barricade or something, almost as if there were a path up there, which there's not, but that would be cool. Good news, the honey badger is back. I haven't seen him over here in Africa rocks for quite some time. Not sure where he just went. I saw him run by, but he's back there somewhere. There's a little hummingbird here, not even part of any exhibit. Just hanging out. Okay. Looking over the edge here, you got this one little plant here with its own little growing cage. Interesting. You ever wonder how they cool down Africa rocks? There's your answer. All around the whole exhibit. They're making it rain. So there's no animals in there right now though. Never noticed this, but on the path from the entrance, heading over to the outback area, we can come over to the side and they got this statue here. Along with a little seating area. Quite nice back here. That is quite the large koi fish. You could see kind of a normal size one next to it. For comparison, Love these trees. Let's fly on over to the exit. Always tempted by the cookies. I'm gonna have to pass on it today. No one even in the line to enter the zoo. And it's still only like 2.20 in the afternoon. Granted, it has heated up. All right, that is gonna do it from the San Diego Zoo. Really cool to see that they're opening the children's zoo in phases and have the Busy Bee open. Uh, you get the coupon for the free soft serve. Don't know how long they're doing that for, but take advantage of it while you can. The food was okay. Uh, didn't see a lot of animals today. It got really hot as the day went on, but it doesn't seem like there's too much else new going on at the moment. Still a great time to visit, particularly on weekdays. The weekends have gotten quite busy, so that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. The caravan is moving on.